In this video, we are going to use view filters and computed data to work with our data even more. So here we've been spitting out just plain information, uh, but let's say name was actually set as first last. First is Bobby. And then same here for John. So there we go, I think I changed his last name, but that's okay. Obviously our application will break now. We don't have John.name anymore. Uh, so instead of having to spit out John first, space John last, and Bobby first, space Bobby last, uh, we could make a computed value here. We can make an object and any of these will be computed values. They will be treated just like data, even though they are really a derivative of our data set. So let's say Bobby full name, We can return this. I'll use a template string for it. So we have, that's Bobby's full name. So now down here I can say Bobby full name. And then I can also create John full name. And obviously this is more work than it would be to just create their name down here, but computed values are very, very useful in many other situations. So John full name would be John's first and last name. And now I can go John full name and I'm spitting out computed values. I could also say John age in a year. Plus one. So in one year, Johnny is going to be 36. Um, now, computed values are great in a lot of cases, but in a lot of cases, we can do this in a reusable fashion using filters. So we can create a filters object here. And we could just call this one full name. And full name will get any value and it will return value.first space value.last. So now what I can do is I can spit out the entire object John at a pipe and say full name. And there you see we get the exact same results. So now I can also go Bobby full name. And I can use that full name filter, that exact same full name filter to return Bobby's full name. Uh, what's also great about this is let's say later on we decide, eh, we want to return last comma first. Then that can apply to everybody in our list as well. Now Boone John and Boone comma Bobby. We do the exact same thing for age in one year. So we return age in one. So in this case, we'll go age age in one year, actually john.age, bobby.age, age in one year. And so now this will bump up to that 36 and Bobby just became 26 as well. So that's how you can use filters to create reusable computed values. Um, and then computed values can also be used to just make computations that are one-off computations against your data set.